In the previous unit, we finished processing the vector part of soil data set that we have. In this unit, we are going to convert that vector into a raster. Before we do that, let's add cedar underscore lu, which is our raster data set. And let's check its properties. So I'm going to right click on cedar lu properties and source the things that we are interested in finding out about this raster is the cell size so we have 30 meter cell size and the spatial reference which is utm zone 16. so what we want to do is when we convert our vector features into raster we want to make sure that the newly created raster has same properties as our land use raster in other words all the data sets that we are going to use to create the curve number grid should have same spatial reference and same cell size for rasters so once we confirm the properties of land use i'm going to uncheck that and we are then going to convert this vector into raster. To do that, we will use the geoprocessing tools. And within geoprocessing, we will go to conversion tools. And within conversion tools, there is a tool here called to raster. And if you expand that, you will see polygon to raster. So our cedar underscore soil underscore clip is a vector and it's a polygon feature class and we want to convert that polygon to raster so select that tool input features are going to be cedar soil clip the value field is soil nu so we want to create a raster that shows the hydrologic soil group and we stored the hydrologic soil group as numbers in this field soil underscore nu the output raster data set we will just name it as soil and we want to make sure that it doesn't get stored inside the geo database so you go to the folder where you have all the other data sets including cedar underscore lu so I'll just name it as soil. Cell assignment type center is fine. What this means is if we create a 30 meter raster, the midpoint of that cell will have the value that we are going to assign by using soil NU. Priority field, none is fine. Cell size, we want to match this with the same cell size we had for the land use raster that we checked before running this tool once we specify these parameters let's check the environments and we will use our snap raster as our cedar underscore lu so they both match and then we will say run and this is how the soil raster looks like so you can see in the table of contents we have only four values one two three and four one is for hydrologic soil group a two is for hydrologic soil group b three is for hydrologic soil group c and four is for hydrologic soil group d so we are good with the soil data set and this finishes the processing of soil data in the next unit we will process the land use data and then we are ready to create the curve number grid so this is it for this unit save your project and in the next unit we will process land use data